again. The tree is trimmed, the turkey in the oven, and... Oh no, what's this? Something scared the children. Zombies! As if the holidays weren't stressful enough. <sighs> Tip number one, don't prioritize your pies. At the first sign of a zombie apocalypse, many homemakers think it necessary to complete their holiday baking before fortifying their doors and windows. <gasps> this is not true. Remember to first lock all doors. Next, set oven to 350 degrees, bar all windows, execute zombie stragglers, <laughs> resume the baking of your pies. Tip number two, stone the toe. Single ladies on the make will often try to spruce up a holiday party with mistletoe in hopes of netting a suitor. But is George a young man full of eggnog looking for a kiss or a fresh zombie just interested in their brains? Hard to tell, isn't it? Be safe. Discard all mistletoe. Good job, ladies. Better safe than sorry. Tip number three, care for carols. Deck the halls with bells of holly, fa la 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 la. Holiday carolers pride themselves on singing in even the most adverse conditions. In a zombie apocalypse, it would be easy to mistake their incessant droning for that of the undead. And if you were to shoot one, <laughs> or all of them, it would probably be viewed as an accident. <laughs> Tip number four, give your children guns. When you see how easy Christmas shopping is during a zombie apocalypse, you might wish it happened every year. Remember that pony Sally wanted? Well, that pony is worth its weight in guns. So Sally can just kiss that pony right goodbye. Oh, look how excited Petey is. Ammunition makes great stocking stuffers. Uh-oh. Looks like Grandma was hiding a nasty zombie bite. Kids, it's time to give Gammy her Christmas gift. The gift of eternal peace. Happy holidays.